So we have your strain gauge, Mary, installed on the piece of the G10. It's a 120 ohm gauge. Um, so we've got it wired as a three wire quarter bridge. It goes into P plus, S minus, and D120. And if we go through the setup quickly of the, the P3, we've got uh, channel three is active. Uh, the other three channels are inactive because we're not using them. I just press the menu to get back out. Uh, set the bridge type. Right now, channel three is set to a quarter bridge, which is what we've got connected. Uh, next step is to set the gauge factor for um, the strain gauge. And let's go to channel three, uh, 2.120. So I'll just arrow down, go up, over, menu to get back out of it. And then we've got a very small offset, so we'll just click on balance. And that will zero it out. Save it. And now we can put a very small amount of weight on it. And what we're going to use are just a few washers. So we'll put maybe two washers on it. It's actually quite stable. Better than I would have thought. Let's put three washers on it. We're going to start pushing our luck with the amount of deflection of the tip of it. It's actually really good. It's really good for our fiber reinforced uh, plastic. Four on it. See it bouncing. So we're getting upwards around 360 microstrain. And let's check our zero return. So we'll just take these off. And I would say the zero return is excellent. Surprisingly good for that material. So that's it. So CEA series strain gauge installed with Mbond 200 on a piece of G10, which is similar to materials used for printed circuit boards. And we've just checked its properties using four <coughs> little washers. <coughs> it's really, the stability of it is quite good. Nicely done.